pleasure to talk to you. My goodness, bathroom and all. You're quite the trooper. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks a lot. So she's okay. Everyone in the house is okay. I want to bring your attention back over here to where I'm standing right now as I kind of walk through the yard here. There's actually a fence. This is part of a fence right here in the yard that I'm picking up and holding. It got knocked down, but the hole, you can't really see it from our live vantage point, but it is right back here. And it's probably about the size about a couple footballs big, maybe about three football or three uh, feet in diameter. It's a hole that's not too big, which as you heard that lady describing, some bricks and subsiding went into the home, down into a basement where no one was sleeping, no one heard. The driver is here, he did stay, he is being charged, but not arrested. We'll keep you up to date. We're live breaking news on the east side. Mike McCarthy, good day, Columbus. All right, thanks, Mike. New overnight, it doesn't appear slippery roads are to blame for a head-on crash involving an ambulance near OSU's campus. Instead, police tell us a drunk driver actually caused this wreck. It happened around 1 this morning at the intersection of Olatangy River Road and King Avenue. We're told that one person is now in custody after being arrested for OVI. No one was injured. This week's Crime of the Week focuses on thieves targeting a senior center. Take a look at your screen right now. You can see the pair force their way inside at 3 in the morning. Now they go for a 55 inch flat screen TV on the wall. Police now believe that the suspects have an inside contact because it doesn't look like they're afraid of getting caught. We do know for sure they knew what they were coming to get because they're equipped with the tools to get it. If you recognize these men right here, sure, call 614 tips. You could receive a cash reward if your tip leads to an arrest. So police are looking for thousands of dollars worth of stolen band equipment. We've learned the guitars, amplifiers, and other equipment were taken from a warehouse in Grand New Heights Friday night. One player from the band, Bobbitt, tells us this crime is personal. 